All right, fam, man, we are live today, man. Listen, 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 man. It is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority place where your hustle builds muscles. This is Giammy Journey Media. I'm your host, brother, Tim. Of course, you know this is a hard with production all day, every day. And we are on our All Thing podcast, man. We're talking about fueling self-belief through creative expression. Oh, man. And of course, you know, we're going to strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. So I'm running, running late. I was going to try to get up and do it at 9 a.m. because I didn't pre-record this one. I usually pre-record the uh, Art Thing podcast. And I didn't pre-record yesterday. You know, um, it was kind of a disappointing week. Um, Of course, the education process started again. And I am encouraged this year, as a matter of fact, um, I had to give a young a young person a ride home. Um, I do that all the time, but this young man started a conversation with me that was just entertaining. I, I so I am really looking forward to the school year. Um, shouts out to to some of the young people who are thinking and and asking challenging because he started the whole comment. I want you to check this out. This is a young man. He asked me. <laughs> so I, I, we walk into the car. Um, he, because he, I, I got to take him and his brothers home. He says, "So it's nice to meet you, Mister Brown. This is my first year here. So I know it's your first year here, dude. I know my, I know my kids. You, you know what I'm saying?" He said, "Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you." He said, "What's your opinion on women driving in general?" <laughs> I, I said, "Uh oh, uh oh, we about to have." I I have someone who is thinking I have someone because he said I was watching some internet stuff and and boom 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 he started coming with with um with uh information from his life and from from his personal experience um uh with his family and he was you know I was like wow that was interesting but now but on the disappointing part of this week I had to kind of end some YouTube, or at least one YouTube subscription. Um, I was listening to, it was a, a it's, it's a, a podcaster. Where he's not, I don't know if you consider a podcaster or streamer. He's more of a streamer, because I don't know, I don't even know if you have a podcast. But I was listening to a, um, Anton Daniels. Now, I ran into Anton Daniels because I started listening to some of the short clips for Charleston White. And a lot of the major, a lot of the good interviews with Charleston White are with Anton Daniels. So I started listening to Anton Daniels. And I, you know, after about three weeks, maybe four, well, actually, let's say the summer. After listening to and checking in on the morning show, it was like, oh, God. You know what I'm saying? I started listening to it and, and then when he started talking about the plight of black folks and shit, and he's coming, I don't know what angle he come from, 
um, I had to kind of, you know, I had to, I had to part ways with listening to that. And, and cause you know, it's not my cup of tea. It was one thing that happened in this last week. There was some type of discussion and I, I don't even remember what discussion was cause there's a lot of stuff that happened, but it forced me because after he did his thing, he had a long conversation about it. And it was a whole bunch of other black men that jumped on the same. To me, it was bullshit that he jumped on. And I was, I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't rock with no shit like this. This I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. So, you know, I had to get up off of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if Anton Daniels is your thing, that's your thing. That's not my thing, right? I I, I got our thing, right? Um, I'm more into the culture. Um, I want to learn. I want to inspire, right? Um, which, in some ways, they was doing that over there, right? Cool. Now, fast forward to yesterday, and this is one of the reasons I didn't pre-record because I got caught because I got so goddamn mad. Um, I do. I don't try to do doom scrolling. I don't know if y'all familiar with the idea of doom scrolling. Doom scrolling is when you just scroll. And right now, with these little shorts, they make it possible for you to doom stroll for a long time where you will start and next thing you know, a half an hour had passed before you looked up because, you know, these little shorts are engaging, right? Some are engaging. You know, I got a lot of informative stuff going on. So I don't really like doom scrolling. I like setting up a playlist so that I can learn different things. That's my goal. I want to learn. Um, and one of the new channels that I'm into right now is the Black Power Media, BPM, Black Power Media, right? Real good, real good network. Now, but I was so disappointed. And this was because I, I, I'm going back through their old stuff as well as trying to keep up with, with the new stuff that's coming out. Um, I was so disappointed uh, when I heard their debate or whatever they want to call it with the ADOS community. I had to take a sip on that one because I got to get my... I, I, I want my throat to be right for this shit here. Right. Listen. And I was. I was kind of hurt. Because a lot of the dudes, let me put it this way, a lot of the people um, that are on doing the black power media. Now, the black power media is less culture and more leftist revolutionary right so um unlike the whole the kwanzaa community as i call it right you got the conscious you got the overall conscious community and you got different pockets of this right you got um the leftists right because they are very clear in their political agenda and they can let you know what they are you know they black but they put black in front of it you know they black you know what I'm saying? But they could be a socialist or a communist. They're, they're, they will be considered what's left, right? Right? So they, they lean towards socialism. They lean towards communism. Uh, capitalism, capitalism must die. And I, I, I could rock with I could rock with, with, with the fan, right? Boom. And then, of course, we got um, the French uh, uh, culture or the French conscious individuals. What do you mean, brother? I tell French. Uh, some Moors. You know what I'm saying? S'mores. Pretendants. Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? They 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 recognize being black, but they come at it with, from a French angle. And, you know, and I could work with them as, as well. I, you know, I could work. I don't agree. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the whole piece is we don't all have to agree. Right? I don't agree, but... We could work with them. So we got some Moors. Um, we got um the um the, the the Hebrews, you know what I'm saying, or the microbrews. Um, we got uh um uh the pretendants, you know what I'm saying? Pretend Indians, right? We we got those, right? And it's cool. Boom, that's your philosophy, right? And it's and it is what it is. So, you know what I'm saying? Boom, all right. Then we got Kwanzaa folk, right? The cultural people that really, you know, the politics 
is not really that clear. Some of them are super capitalists. Some of them are socialists. Some of them believe in communalism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm more of the communal, cultural, you know what I'm saying? Type piece. Let's plug into the culture. It's the culture. That's the foundation. As you can hear with Giami Journey, you know, but anyway. Uh, and then now you have, um, um, you have this new crew, and a lot of people won't 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 accept this, right? You have a new crew of young thinkers, a new crew of young thinkers, and I, I call them ADOS or those who are embracing the Americanness of Black folk. You have those individuals. Who embrace the Americanness of the black, and, and this 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 irritates everybody, right? But they don't. They do not claim that they are not black. They claim that they have a specific tribe that has been transformed through this thing called slavery. This 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 they they, they have been transformed. They have formed a new group with specific needs, with specific actions or, or ways of, of knowing. And and I I can't argue with them, right? I'm like, shit, many of us, many of the people on the far left, many of the people in um, these other, as a matter of fact, one of the reasons that a lot of people become the Native Americans or become Moors or become Hebrews because they don't fit into these other groups because these other groups do not deal with the identity that was formed when we were, in a sense, um, put in the furnace of America and molded into something else. Right? So, but anyway... I'm watching Black Power Media. They had a, a debate with ADOS. First off, um, they didn't have uh, Tone and Yvette. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can understand because I, I, I saw I saw I saw the break coming, right? Um, but then, with, with especially with our with, with the family on that's on the far left, these are highly studied. Educated and intelligent, bro. These are the ones that you can sit down and they could run you through the history. They could run you through the politics behind it. And these are very intelligent individuals. And when I sit down and I listen to them, and when it comes to certain issues, I can see that they shut down on purpose. They become stupid on purpose. And this is what I witnessed with the whole ADOS piece, and it was very frustrating. I'm going to hang in there with BPM. You understand? Because like I said, I'm trying to build Giami Journey Media in, in a similar fashion, right? But the whole piece is, I'm going to hang in there with BPM because that was last year. Maybe some things have, have, have changed, but I can't take the purposeful ignorance or, because better yet, let me put it this way. Um, In the conscious movement overall, you have certain hierarchies that work. Right, you have uh, uh, the, the 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 sexist aspect of the culture, and a, and a lot of people are wrestling with that. But then we also have ageism in our shit, right? Or and, and also I, I lump into ageism the whole education piece because for um, for some. In order to be in leadership or you get an automatic pass to leadership because you have passed the test of our masters. <laughs> they don't pass the masses test. You know what I'm saying? And they're able to brandish these titles. Right. So you got you got the ageism and you got the education piece that could be a hindrance for some because you have some people just because they had the title of doctor. They are elevated to a certain level, right? And supposedly they know more than some people who have been struggling, working with these, not just not just studying these ideas, but living these ideas, right? Now, and when these brothers 
start playing ignorant because I was listening to the arguments of the ADOs and I'm listening to their arguments and I'm hearing personal shit come out. Right. With the, but the people that was being talked about wasn't there rather than addressing the issue of the whole ADOS argument. Uh, I'm hearing how the ADOS argument is stupid. Why? Because the white man is never going to pay any money. Right. It's improbable. You know what I'm saying? But then we're talking to individuals that's talking about being so revolutionary that they're going to overthrow the system. The only way we can fix this shit is to overthrow the system. So I got a question for all of those out there. Right. Which is more improbable or better yet. Both are possibly equally improbable. Reparations overthrowing the system. How can one that is preaching something extreme look at another one that's preaching something extreme and say, that's stupid? See, the whole goal for Giame is one of, the, one, of the, one, of the, one of the things that I wanted to create with Giame was a platform, not just a platform, but groups of individuals that could go out and work with all groups. We could clown each other. We could play. But when it comes to, to working, we have to understand that each one of us and each one of our groups and each one of our tribes is a spoke in the wheel of black folks, the spoke in the wheel of our people, the spoke, a spoke, not the whole thing, a spoke that holds the, the continuity of the wheel that is us. And we need to be hitting this thing from all different angles. We don't necessarily have to all the way, all the way agree, but we have to be able to work with each other. Because I don't see why a revolutionary pan-African nationalist cannot see the benefits of ADOS. And I can't see why the ADOS can't see the value of the pan-African nationalist or the, the, the Hebrew brother, or the, the I, I don't see why those of us that are concerned about the overhaul outcome for black folks cannot look at it and say, hey, man, let's, in some form of fashion, this shit has to work. Actually, we don't even have to argue. You hit them from your angle, I hit them from mine. I don't understand. I really don't. So to sit up there and to have a debate and just talk about how stupid something is. So it kind of threw me off. I heard that because on on that in the BPM, it, it they have some they have some powerful minds, but to sit up there and act like they understand these people's arguments bothered me. But anyway, so we're gonna get to the day's message. Family, I want to welcome you. I am live. If you want to throw a comment up, throw a comment up. You know what I'm saying? I might even come on screen. But, hey, you know, we on our thing. This is our thing podcast. Ain't that right, anime? Ain't that right, anime? All right. So I'm about to turn on the music, and we're going to go through the message, and I'm going to get up out of here. Because I got to get the newsletter together and stuff like that. I got to get tomorrow's show together. So, wow, that took up a lot of time. And I, I just wanted to say that because it's like it gets frustrating in these, as they call them, these YouTube streets. Especially when I'm dealing with my folks because it's like I can't stand pretend. I can't stand when we pretend like we don't we don't hear each other. We don't hear each other. We need to start listening to each other. And we don't have to all, we don't have to, how can I put it? We need to all be focused on our purpose that hopefully it builds to a larger purpose within our group. All of our groups don't necessarily have to agree, but we don't have to kill each other. We got, we don't got to disrespect each other. You know what I'm saying? We have a common enemy and we need to be working towards making sure that we moving our people towards freedom. That's what I'm concerned about. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, and, and get rid of some of the shit that's holding us back. This ageism shit. Let me tell you, man, listen, for years, I've been operating above my age grade. <laughs> you know, and um, and I didn't want it didn't happen to me, but one of the things that I continue continuously saw, and it's 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 some stories that I can't tell right now. I have to wait for a few years, but it's certain things that happen 
in my connection with our community that I want to voice that I want to make sure never happens to any other people because somebody come into our collective that has a talent, that has a skill, that's able to bring a certain thing, then me as an elder now, I am looking towards being able to help this individual be able to express and use their talent, especially if it ain't nothing. I mean, if it ain't nothing negative, right? I, You know what I'm saying? I was purposely put into a small box in our movement for a very long time. You know, one of the things, and I'm going to say this, and, and then, because I, 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 I'll do the rest on another time, a couple of years from now, maybe. But one of the reasons I really took to Simba in the way that I took to Simba, because Simba recognized, yo, you a nation builder. What? Because until Simba, right? If it wasn't for Simba, the title nation builder would have never been given to me in my community. For another 15, almost, let me say, for another eight years? I want y'all to think about that shit. I'm talking about a title, right? But what people don't understand is that many of us exist and enhance who we are by the titles that we are given. And I didn't want, I don't give a fuck about no BA or BS. I don't care about no master degree. I don't care about no doctorates. You know what I'm saying? But those titles that come from the community, when a young person come up to me and call me an elder, y'all don't for me, y'all don't know the feeling. I, I can't even describe it for you. I can't describe when a young person, when I'm sitting someplace and a young person come up and ask me, um, what are you eating? And not, they're not asking me what I'm eating so that they could get something. They're asking me what I'm eating so that they can make sure that I have my plate before everybody else do. And I'm sitting up, oh, I get it. I'm straight. But just that 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 piece where your community recognize who you are. And a lot of our people are looking for recognition. They're looking to be seen by our community. And when we act like we don't see them and we act like we don't understand them, especially when we intelligent and they are they are intelligent enough to know that you playing games with them it chases them away and the ados for me is the young people they're young people in our movement they're being brought in but I, i'm gonna leave that alone. i'm gonna let me go need to have real conversations yo all right so let's get to it let's get to it Get to it. Fueling separately through creative expression. Great Kumba. In the heart of the Amani week. We are going to delve into the dynamic world of creativity guided by the principal Kumba. This fusion of Amani and Kumba invites us to stoke the fires of self-belief by immersing ourselves in creative expression breathing life into our aspiration while threading the theme of personal growth. Just as a river, melody is shaped by as many stones. Our self-belief resonates with the diverse experiences and stories that mold us. The timeless African proverb, the cow that is determined to go in the river will never turn back, echoes the unwavering determination needed to embark on a creative odyssey. Amid challenges, a steadfast self-belief propels us forward, enabling us to scope our ideas and visions into reality. Imani empowers us. Hold on. Imani empowers us to embrace our capabilities and have faith in the uncharted possibilities that creativity unfolds. Kaumba, the essence of crafting, reminds us that we are architects of our own narrative, transforming Life's raw materials into eloquent expressions of beauty, insight, and transformation. Can I have some music? Anime, are you on strike? Can can a brother get some music real quick, please? I've been running my mouth. I need some music. What you got for me? 
Hold on, y'all. We're going to get some music up in here. I'll deal with that. So I'm going to go. I'm going to start at amid challenges of steadfast self belief propels us forward, enabling us to scope our ideas and visions into reality. Imani empowers us to embrace our capabilities and have faith in the uncharted possibilities that creativity unfolds. Kaumba, the essence of create, crafting, reminds us. Reminds us that we are architects of our own narrative, transforming life's raw material into eloquent expressions of beauty, insight, and transformation. Just as a skilled potter shapes clay into an exquisite vessel, we mold our lives through creative ex exploration. In the intricate tapestry of existence, each of us weave a thread spun from our journeys, dreams, and passions. This week, as we weave Imani and Kaumba into our fabric, we celebrate every brushstroke, every note composed, and every sh every story shared as a testament of unwavering self-belief. Imani is the seed and Kaumba is the fertile ground where our potential thrives. We are the storytellers, the painters, and the dreamers. And our creative and our creativity is the canvas on which our self-belief dances. As the sun rises on the day of Kaumba, let us embrace our potential. Let us embrace our creativity as a conduit for growth, expression, and empowerment. For within the realm of our create, creative pursuit lies the magic of a mind, propelling us to construct a legacy that mirrors the brilliance of our beliefs. Imani and Kaumba dance in harmony, fueling our self-belief through the flames of creativity. Hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, so now, of course, you know, it's time. It is time. It is time. Hold on. It's time for. It's the proverb. 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 The proverb. The proverb. The proverb. The proverb. The proverb. For those that are new to Giami Journey, please understand that the picture on our thumbnail aligns with the proverb of the day. And the proverb of the day is, the day you are ready is the day luck tends to come. So the picture you see, you see my baby standing um, up under a rainbow. We came outside in a rainbow and you know, for me, rainbow is you know when you see an actual rainbow that's kind of kind of lucky and it's like you know we with my kids i get in the car and we go on a little fake adventure when they was little like this they too big now but we drive trying to look to see who could find where the, the end of the rainbow is right because according to you know there's a pot of gold um that the rainbow is coming from and it looks like you could find it so for for babies that's a very entertaining thing but anyway so the power of the day, the day you are ready is the day luck tends to come. In the realm of creativity, this adage holds a profound truth that our, prep, our preparedness and willingness to embrace our creativity can open doors to unforeseen opportunities and success. Just as a farmer resides, my fault, just as a farmer readies the soil before planting seeds, so must we ready ourselves for the fruits of our creativity. The process of crafting cultural Legacies and nurturing our self-belief requires a mindset for constant preparation and openness. When we are truly ready, when we've honed our skills and cultivated our passions, luck often finds its way to us. Imagine a potter molding clay into a masterpiece or a musician practicing the instruments tirelessly. The dedication and preparedness creates a fertile ground for creativity to flourish. Similarly, in our journey of crafting cultural legacies and fostering self-belief, we must be ready to seize the moment when opportunity knocks. Preparation is not only about the technical skills, it's also about cultivating the right mind state, fostering resilience and embracing a continuous thirst for learning and growth. When we are fully equipped with the tools of knowledge and a spirit of readiness, we can mold our ideas, passions, and beliefs into impactful creation that resonates with others. Today, 
As we celebrate Kuumba, let us remember that our creativity is a canvas awaiting our brush strokes. The more we invest in our creative journey, the more we align with the principle of Kuumba. Which is creativity? It's about believing in ourselves, honing our skills, and crafting a harmonious symphony between our purpose and our actions. So, let us march forward with the understanding that creativity is not just an abstract concept. There's a tangible force, force within us waiting to be harnessed. The day we are truly ready, the day we cultivate our self-belief and channel our creativity is the day we invite love to dance alongside us on this journey of crafting our cultural legacy. Man, I like that. All right. So family, it is now time for us to have a conversation. I need to have a conversation with you a real short one. I know I had one long, a long one before, but you know, it's time for us to hit that. Folk tale time. That's right. Folk tale time. Folk tale time. Here at GNJ Media. It is folk tale time. Folk tale time. Stop playing with me. It's folk tale time. You playing. I ain't playing. It's folk tale time. Now, of course, you know I'm not going to read the folk tale, but this one we do have a recording. The folk tale today is to ask the wolf, and it's a very important lesson. Those of you that are on the email list, you better get it. The email list, you go to freegnjecourse.com. That's freegnjecourse.com. Shit pop up on the screen. There you go. Freegnjecourse.com. Go on to it. Copy it. Hold on to it. Right, go through the seven day e course, you know what I'm saying, and you will be on our email list. You better interact with us. You go add your ancestors to the daily toast. Listen, speaking of the daily toast, there's two things. First off, family, make sure you're drinking your water. I know a lot of y'all ain't drinking your water because you're not getting up with me and drinking your water. Drink your water, and also lift up your ancestors. All right, so yo, this is Brother Tim, and I took enough, took up enough of your time. My rant, ranting, and I am out. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. Peace, family. Yo, thank you for joining us. Right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Gianni's journey. See some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe. Tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, and let's build together.